Hello and welcome. In this example, I'm going to show you how you use the command line interface to pass command line arguments to NS3 programs. First of all, uh, when you create C programs and pass an argument, usually, usually what you do is you use argc to, deter, to determine how many arguments are there. You have something like if argc equal equal or not equal certain value, let's say eight, and then you print some error message else you would assign values something like this you know argv at certain value let's say nine or, or like zero sorry not, right now there's a problem with this method it's not very convenient you have to pass the exact number of argument uh, arguments and you also need to have the order properly done because you will use the argv NS3 provides a very convenient way to pass command line argument using the command line class or command line interface. Uh, first, uh, first of all, we create an object of type command line, and that would be our interface to the command line uh, that we pass. We create a command line object. The second step is to create default values of parameters that can also be set by the user. So let's say this is broadcast is of type Boolean and it has the default value of false. Number of nodes have the default value of five and then no name has the default, uh, name has the default value of no name and then we print them. Uh, all, all of this program does is print these uh, values. So the third step, so first step was creating the command line object, the second step, assign default value. The third step is to um, uh, define command line arguments. So I'm gonna define a command line argument named broadcast, and I'm gonna assign it to this value. And this is a help message that will be printed uh, if, you, if you print help, dash dash print help. Uh, this is a uh, number of nodes is assigned to n and name name. So uh, I define three command line arguments. The fourth step is to do cmd.parse argc argv. This is almost the same in all the programs. And what this program does again uh, is basically it prints these values. Now let's do this. Uh, let's scratch. I'm going to see the project name is command line tool. So without passing any argument, we run the program like this. The directory name uh, and it will run it uh, under command line. It will go to the file that has main function and run it. As you can see, is broadcast is false. N is five, no name is the uh, third argument. Basically the default value is no name. So in order to pass argument, we need to put the, the, the command string here between quotation and let's say N equals, let's say 10. Now notice that I am only changing one value from its default value. So as broadcast will remain the same and no name will remain the same and n will be changed to 10. Okay. Now is broadcast is a Boolean value and I created this broadcast as a argument. And so to set it, I don't need to specify a name. I could just uh, a value. I just specify it with a flag like this, and that will set is broadcast to true. As you can see here, this is true, this is 10. Another good thing is the order doesn't matter. So uh, let me go up here. I can instead do this. As you can see, I did not need to pass them all all, all the argument and I did not need to put them in order and that will work nicely. So when you create an S3 programs, uh, do not use the check argc value and you know, the old method, the typical method. Use command line interface uh, by defining an object and then set some default values, add the arguments that can be passed by a user and then do argc argv and in the end, you do your simulation like normal. So in this example, I'm simply just printing what was passed. Thank you very much. I hope this was very clear. Uh, later, I will talk about how to pass, how to use debuggers uh, like GDB uh, and pass arguments 
uh, to, uh, to, to to run an S3 program with with arguments. Thank you very much. I hope you find this useful and give it give it a thumb up, thumbs up, uh, like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, you uh, spending time watching this and I hope you uh, if you have questions about NS3 just, just shoot me an, uh, a message or a comment and I'll, I'll get to you thank you very much bye bye